Hi students. For our next project, we're going to be creating abstract drawings of animals using the forms. We're going to be putting together everything that we've learned so far in class to create this project. So we're going to be using the basic forms that we practiced to build our animals. We're going to be using shading to bring out the shape or the three-dimensional quality of the forms. And we are going to be using value, that means how light or how dark a color is for the background, the painted background. So the first step that we're going to work on today is just creating the background. What you need for this step, you need a board, that's to protect the table so that we don't have to wash the table. You need a paper ruler, a couple of good quality brushes, and a palette with some water, and of course your paint. The first thing I want you guys to do is you're going to take your ruler and you're going to line it up with the edge, and we're just going to make a border. The reason why I have you guys create a border is um, that way you guys have a space to put your name and also it makes it easy that you guys have something that you can lift up or hold down when you're painting. So you have a place to put your hands where you're not going to be actually trying to cover up the whole thing with paint. So you just go ahead and you create your border using your ruler and we'll cut the border off later so that it's not looking too disturbing and you're going to put your name inside the border. Okay, you're done with the ruler, so at this point you can just put it to the side. And you're also done with the pencil. After that, you can start preparing your palette. And there will be a bucket of paints at each of your tables. We're working on value right now. That means how light or how dark a color is. Um, so you're just going to start with one color of your choice. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to go with red. And you're just going to pour a little bit of paint into one of the wells of your palette. And you're going to, since we're doing value, we need black to make a dark version of red. And we need white to make a light version of red. Remember that you can always take more paint later, so you don't need a whole lot of paint. Now, I just want to go over with you the procedures for mixing new colors. What I don't want to see you guys doing, let's say you wanted a light version of red, I don't want to see you guys taking the paint and pouring it to create a light version of red. The reason why I don't want this is because it ends up wasting a lot of paint. Um, and paint is expensive. Once we run out, you know, we only have so much money in the budget. We, you know, just can't necessarily buy more. So we want to do it without wasting. So instead of doing that, we're going to scoop. So let's say we're making some light red. I'm just going to take my paintbrush and I'm going to scoop out some red. And then I can either wash my brush and wipe it off, or I can just take a new brush and scoop some white. This way, Let's say I wanted to make it even lighter or even more red. I can easily just scoop more without having to pour a whole bunch of paint in there and, and potentially get a little wasteful. And then if we wanted to do our dark red, we can just scoop some red and then scoop some black. And then I'm going to leave it for now, but this is an example of some of you might feel like, oh, this color is too black. I want to add more red. It makes it really easy for you to just scoop more. So once you've prepared your palette, you're going to start painting your paper. We just want to cover up the whole thing as much as we can. And then we're going to cut off the section outside of the borders later. You can see how I'm actually using the part that's inside the border to hold the paper down so that I can have better control. So that's why we put it there. And I'm just going to start out kind of making a value scale. That means a gradient or an ombre where it goes from light to medium to dark. All right, so I'm going ahead and I'm adding some bright red. Then I'm gonna go into this dark part and I'm just going and covering the whole thing. Okay. 
and I'm gonna go back. You don't wanna keep, you wanna keep these backgrounds pretty simple because we're gonna be putting a lot of stuff on top. We're gonna be using paint pens to outline our animal. And then in addition to that, we're going to be using um, colored pencil for our shading. We're gonna be adding a background um, with forms and shapes and lines. And we're gonna be using chalk pastel for our cast shadows. So. Um, you don't want to go. You don't want to go too detailed, adding a lot of lines and shapes or anything like that in the background. You want to keep it pretty simple. Just these solid colors, going for a pretty blend from, you know, darks to lights. Okay. And you can see how to blend. I'm just going back and forth through the different colors so that I don't have a lot of lines. And if you're struggling with blending, don't worry about it because once we get to our painting unit, we will go over blending a little bit more. You just wanna make something that looks pretty in your own opinion and that has a variety of values. So we have our dark value, we have our light value, and we have our medium value. Once you've got one and you've got your name on it, you can just uh, put it to the side. There will be an area where I'm collecting the work. And then I want you guys to create three more painted pages. You can experiment if you want to with using more than one color, um, or you can do them all the same. It's up to you. I want you to have at least four. That way, when we're doing our final project, if anyone wants to start over, they have their painted pages ready, and they don't have to go back to this step. Um, have fun and enjoy the process.